Hey there everybody, Matt here from the Playing Strings of Comics channel, and today we're going to review The Devil's Cut. But before we get into that, if you guys wouldn't mind like, sharing, subscribing, commenting, it really helps me out and lets me know what you guys want to see more of. So, with that being said, let's get straight into it. Alright, we got the cover here for The Devil's Cut. It is a distillery comic, and we're going to go through two stories out of the anthology. One of them is called Spectrograph by James Tinian and Christian Ward. And the other is called What's Mine is Hearse by Stephanie Phillips and Joel Jones. So the first one called Spectrograph starts off in 1981. We see a guy walking into a diner and he's going to meet this older gentleman here. And it's the first time that they've met because the old man is looking for a thief to do a job for him. Of course, the old man warns the thief saying it's not going to be an easy job, but the thief is confident in his skills. And plus, it's for a bunch of money. So the thief isn't going to turn that down. So once they kind of have their back and forth where they both show that they are very confident men, the older man gets down to brass tacks and tells him what the job is. And the job is to break into a rich man's house and steal some sort of machine that this older gentleman says should not exist. So later that night, the thief breaks into the house. Unfortunately, the house is gigantic, so the thief has a hard time finding the machine, but eventually he does. But just as he finds it, all of a sudden the lights are turned on, and it seems he is caught, and that's where I'm going to stop this one. I don't want to spoil anything else. And this next one is called What's Mine is Hearse, and it's by Stephanie Phillips and Joel Jones. And we start off in a morgue with this doctor doing an autopsy. She seems to be very fixated on this man. And she says, like, the first thing I noticed was your eyes. And it's kind of creepy because it seems like she thinks this corpse is attractive. So much so that she begins to take off her gloves during this autopsy. And she starts touching the corpse with her bare hands and thinking things to herself about how this man has seen her in ways no one else has. And she has seen him as he truly is. So very creepily, she leans in and gives the corpse a kiss. And that's where we're going to stop this one. I don't want to spoil anything else. So this comic is the first comic from the company Distillery. And if you don't know, it's kind of owned by the creators who make the comics. So this was like an anthology of a bunch of stories from all of those creators. And I think there's about 10 stories in this whole issue. Each are about four to five pages. And all of them are different. Some of them are sci-fi, some of them are horror. One of them was like a spy thriller. But they're all original. And I believe these are like first tastes of stories we're going to get that are full issues that follow these storylines. And I just picked two of the ones that I thought stood out the most. And for the most part, all the stories in this were pretty dang good. There was only a couple that I was less interested in, but there were only four pages, so it wasn't that hard to get through them. And I wouldn't say any of them were bad, just some weren't to my taste. I feel like all the creators here really brought their A game. The art was good in each one. The writing was good in each one. I just connected with some more than others. And I'd say a majority of these stories, I would actually pick up the full issues later on if they come out in their own series. But as it is, this is kind of a fun Tales from the Crypt style book. It is oversized, so you get some nice big pages. And overall, I thought it was a good first outing for this company and for the new properties from these creators. And speaking of creators, we got Mirka Andolfo, Brian Azzarello, Mark Bernardin, Elisa Charitier, Becky Clunin, Francisco Francovia, Lee Garbett, Jacques, Joel Jones, Ariella Cristiana, Tula Lote, Jamie McKelvey, Junko Menuzo, Stephanie Phillips, Ram V, Edward Riso, Scott Snyder, James Tinian, and Christian Ward. So if you like any of those people, you should definitely check out this issue because each of them have a story in here. And like I said, most of them are pretty dang good. So overall, I like this issue a lot. I wasn't really sure what to expect from it. I've read some of these creators in like DC or Marvel books and haven't liked them at all. So I was kind of hesitant to pick it up because it is kind of an expensive book. It's $9.99, but I think it's definitely worth that money. I had a good time reading it, never felt bogged down, and most of the stories I really liked. So I'm going to give this one a four out of five. It didn't knock my socks off, but I think it's a good first outing for this company. And it definitely shows promise for future titles. So if you saw anything you like, definitely go pick that up at your local comic book store. And we will see you all in the next one.